Okay, so let's refresh, recap the important things here. Just as it says at the top here. It doesn't matter how fast you get, always start at 60. Every single practice session start at 60. And only go up in 5 beat per minute increments. Now, I know you want to get fast. And so having the discipline to do it this way is very important. Before you start messing with 16th notes, you need to be able to handle playing at 240 with 8th notes well. That's been my like graduation speed for myself and everybody for quite quite a while now. Like if you can't hear and play 8th notes at 240 beats per minute, you're not ready to be working up 16th notes. So you've got to have a very solid foundation in order to handle very fast speeds. Um, yeah, and just practice one and done. If you feel like you made a mistake during a take, do not continue on it. You want to address the mistake immediately. So let's say for what's up on the screen right now, this is number three from July 26th. Uh, if you find that transitioning from this E5 to the F5 is difficult, or you're having some issues with it still, this highlighted part, you can focus on just that. So you don't even have to start from the beginning here and then work to that. Just here to here. Practice that. And once that feels more comfortable, then maybe here to here. And then this much. So wherever you have a sticking point, put some added focus to that. Get it feeling comfortable, even if that's what you do for the day. For that specific exercise. If you need to spend, you know, the 10 to 15 minutes just working this up, go ahead, do that your first day, that's fine. That's going to make the whole process of the entire thing much, much easier. So, I'm going to demo this at some different speeds again, along with the new thing, so this way you have everything in one spot. And here we go, 60 beats per minute to start. All right, one, two, three. Oh yeah, the other thing was like, think about strumming softly. So we don't want to attack the strings so much. We just want them to have a nice brush against the strings and try and have that hand motion just smooth the whole time. A nice smooth motion, no jerky motion with the right hand at all. One, two, three, four. transitions and if, if we need to I will definitely scale back the level of difficulty with the rhythm stuff and we can work on smoothing it out by pulling back on the challenge I skipped a lot of steps with you and from what I do with most people because of what you demonstrated when we met I do feel it is within your skill range to handle this stuff um, Maybe it's just a matter of just having to think about things a little bit harder. That's how it goes with a lot of stuff, right? Um, but if it if I if it proves to be still too much of a challenge, then we'll definitely scale things back a bit and just make some adjustments so this way we can keep moving forward, okay? All right, number one, the new number one, 60 beats per minute. Uh, with this being solid eighth notes, I'll say not a big deal if you count this. 
because it's just down, up, down, up the whole time. You may want to count like the down beats, so this way you remember when to change the chords. That can be helpful. All right, 60. One, two, three, four. So if you do a video next time, this is what I'd like you to do, is a couple things. The most complete way is record the entire practice session. So some students will do that, um, some I ask to do that because sometimes there's like little discrepancies that continue to pop up when they're playing and I need to see, well, what speed does this discrepancy come up? Uh, so we have the option you can do that. Just the start of 60, go up in fives, record the whole thing, and just send it over. No need to edit it. I'll jump around uh, if I need to. Uh, but doing it that way shows me everything. It shows the whole process, and I can pinpoint any issues that crop up uh, more accurately when they do crop up. The other option is if you're not fully warmed up and you go to do the video, so you're going to shoot for 20 beats per minute under your max. So let's say you max out at 200. So what I want you to do is start at 60 and go up in 20s until you reach the 180. So 20 under the two, the max, right? Well, let's say you got 190 instead. So what you'll do, start at 60, go 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, and then 170. So you keep going up in 20s and then you just move it up to that whatever BPM would be 20 under the max. So those are the two options there uh, for the video demo to help out a lot. Um, and just so you know, I because of how booked I am, a lot of times I may not be able to watch the video until the lesson time's coming up. Uh, if that's the case, I'll you know send a message on Skype letting you know that I'm watching it. Sometimes I can watch it when we're on Skype. I'll do that with one guy um, and then I can give feedback as I'm watching it. So just you know, good chance I might not be able to watch the videos prior to the lesson uh, just because of all the people I see. But yeah, so either work up the whole practice session for the video or go up in 20s until you are 20 under your max. I find that most people are able to handle 20 under their max speed for the week if they're not fully warmed up. Okay. Any questions you have, please let me know. I'll see you next week.